Hi, my name is Aviva Bach. I'm a violinist and I go to the High School for Creative and Performing Arts. Hi, I'm Achille Farrow. I'm 21 years old. I play the violin and I study at the University of Hartford. My name is Samaj Murphy. I'm a violinist and I'm currently a senior at Gant. My name is Blue Shelton. I play the flute and I go to Central High School. The thing I really love about music is the universal language that it has. It's a medium that connects people without having to use words. I feel like I can help people through music and affect people with music. I think students should join PMATE if they aspire to become musicians in the future. PMATE has all the necessary resources and connections in order to prepare you so that you can be successful in whatever discipline of music you decide to pursue. If you're looking to explore your musicality and a community that comes with it to help you they are there and they are ready to support you in any way they can. My hopes for the future is to become a professional musician, whether that's a chamber musician or orchestral musician, and later a violin professor. Hello, my name is Evan Cannon and I am the manager of the PMA Artist Initiative. PMA is a collaboration of nine organizations who are dedicated to helping musicians from underrepresented backgrounds achieve their musical potential to audition for top conservatories and universities to become professional musicians. If you're interested in applying, sign up today. Good evening, and welcome to the 2021 PMA Showcase Recital. My name is Evan Cannon, and I am the manager of the PMA Artists Initiative. PMA, for those who don't know, is a collaboration of Philadelphia-based organizations that provides mentorship and financial assistance to students grades 5th through 12th. With help from the Andrew Mellon Foundation, we are able to serve 70 students a year from underrepresented backgrounds and those who need financial assistance. This last year was a difficult year unlike any other. With the emergence of COVID-19, we've had to move many of our programs online to the detriment and occasional help of many of our students. However, something I would like to highlight this evening is the perseverance and the resilience of everyone involved in the PMA Artists Initiative. Together, we have taken use of technology, we have learned, and we have all overcome. I would like to say thank you to everyone who is a part of the PMA Artists Initiative for all of your hard work and your ingenuity in helping our next generation grow to be the greatest musicians that they can be and join world-class conservatories and orchestras. Tonight, I would like to showcase a small snippet of that amazing resilience and hard work that has become the backbone of the PMA Artists Initiative. And I would also like to take a quick moment to have a shout out to all of our seniors who are currently in the midst of their auditions for college. We are so proud of all of you, all of our PMA artists, and I'd like to say, without hyperbole, you are truly rocking it. Thank you all for being here this evening and please enjoy the show. Hi, my name is Dylan Scott. I'm a junior at North Penn High School um, and I play the viola. Something that motivates me is definitely progress. I like to see progress, but I also like to enjoy what I'm doing. Something that I want people to know about me is I'm really into mindfulness and meditation, so that's how I like to spend a lot of my time. And I will be playing the Hofmeister Viola Concerto in D major, the first movement. And I really like it because Hofmeister, even though he's not extremely famous, was a famous publicist during the classical period. And so he was in contact with Haydn and Mozart and Hummel and a lot of those people. And so I like to think that when I'm playing him, I'm really playing uh, an inspiration from all of those people in, in one piece. I hope you enjoy.
Hello, my name is Crystal Machoma. I'm in 11th grade and I play the violin and I go to the Downtown STEM Academy. What motivates me is my violin idols, Hilary Hahn and Itzhak Perlman. And one thing I want people to know about me is that I like volunteering. Um, and currently I'm doing a volunteering class, um, music theory to kids in my community. And about the piece that I'm playing, the Grieg Violin Sonata Number no. 3, um, Second Movement, um, is that I really like the lyrical and the fast sections that contrast in the piece.
Hi, my name is Mira Ratnagiri, and I am a 10th grader at Concord High School. I play the cello. Something that motivates me to play music and to play the cello are the different sounds and varieties of emotions that you can feel while playing music. Something unique about me is that I do Indian classical dance, and I've been dancing since I was five. Today, I'll be playing the Sarabande from Bach's Cello Suite No. 2 in D minor. A Sarabande is a dance set to a triple meter with emphasis on the second beat. Something I love about this piece is that it highlights the lower register of the cello, which provides a somber sound unique to the cello. I hope you enjoy.
Hi, my name is Kara Samuria and I'm in 10th grade. I attend Philmont Christian Academy and I play the violin. I am motivated to be a better musician because I think music is one of the most beautiful things in the world and I want to share that beauty with other people. I really enjoy playing music at my church and being on the worship team. I think that music is one of the most powerful means by which people's emotional and spiritual needs can be ministered to. I will be performing Vinyasky's Polonaise in D major, and I like this piece because it's technically difficult for me, but it still remains joking and lighthearted.
Hi, my name's Anaga Capsi. I play the violin, and I'm a 10th grader at the Pennsylvania Leadership Charter School University Scholars Program. What motivates me in music is the music itself. Like, I just love the ability to connect with others through music and also bring people together through music. And that's something that I think will always stay with me, no matter what, for however long I do music. I think. Um, that's what I love about music, and that's what motivates me to keep going on. And one interesting thing about me is that my family and I love to travel. We've traveled to over 12 countries, um, everywhere around the world, in Europe, South America, and um, Asia. So that's something we've always enjoyed, and we'll hope to continue after COVID ends as well. And the piece I'll be playing is Vitaly Chacon. Um, this piece is really interesting in that it was written in the Baroque period, but it doesn't really sound um, from like a Baroque style. Actually, that's because the main theme was written during the Baroque period, but more composers and arrangers added to this piece over time. So over time, the style changed as well. So it's really a mixture of all the periods of music. What I really love about this piece is just it's so melancholic and so emotional and I think it really like catches the listener and there's a lot of emotion in it and I think that's what I really love about playing this piece. It's just so beautiful.
Hello, my name is Joseph Colazzo. I'm a junior at Ben Salem High School and I play the trombone. And something that motivates me to keep playing the trombone is I love playing for people. I like seeing their expressions when I express myself to them through the trombone. There's also a lot of lessons I think that I can learn with, from music that can be applied to a lot of things in life. Um, and Something interesting about me, I think outwards appearance, I seem like a very serious person to everybody I know. I'm not very expression with my face. <laughs> and, uh, but I, I like to think that I have like a more silly or playful side. And that's what I really like about the Malcolm Arnold, which is the piece I'll be playing. It, there's so much room for artistic expression and there's so much playfulness in the piece. When I play the first movement, like I like to think, like I don't drink, but I like to think that I'm drunk and stumbling over myself. And then in the second movement, it's like, uh, it's like wonder, it's magical, kind of get to take a break. Maybe I got over a hangover or something. And then in the third movement, it's like a, a march and it's just it's just a fun piece to play and I don't have to take it seriously I have to practice it seriously but when I perform it I feel like I can just express that side of myself that not a lot of people get to see Thank <laughs> you. 
Hello, my name is Miro Raj. I am 14 years old and an eighth grader at Balakinwood Middle School. Something that motivates me when it comes to music is performing. I really, it's something I love the most about playing the violin and I really enjoy it in general. Um, something about me is that outside of music, I really like puzzles and math and that sort of thing. And that's just something I spend my time doing that's not music. And um, the piece I will be playing is Wieniawski Concerto Number no. 2 in D minor, the second movement. Something I really love about this movement in particular is how it's a celebration of it being a concerto. And it's not just about the soloist, it's about the orchestra accompaniment as well. And it really adds something to the piece, and I really think it's beautiful. Thank you. 
Hi, my name is Gabriela Salvador Riera, and I'm a ninth grader at Cab Kelly School of the Arts, um, and I play the violin. Um, right now, what motivates me is probably just goals towards auditions and concerts and performances, and just getting from one step to the next because it's just it's very hard to stay at home and just keep practicing. So just having those little goals to keep going is the perfect thing for me right now. Um, something about me. Um, is that I also like to sing and that I like to do musical theater. So that's been something that I like to do uh, during this time. <laughs> and, um, uh, and what I like about my piece is that it's very fiery and exciting and, and in a Spanish style, and I'm from Spain, so it's very cool. <laughs> um, but uh, Lalo was a French composer who liked um, writing about, I mean, writing pieces inspired by other countries and cultures, and um, this is one of them, so, yeah.